And of course, I already showed you this concept up here. And we're just taking it three feet off the top, cleaning stuff up like we've been doing. Welcome back, all you warriors. <laughs> An exciting episode of Lee Landscape Life Stories. We've got a 50 foot man lift here. We've got some castle walls that we have to manicure these vines off of. So, I am strapped up. Safety harness check. No, I don't have the shoulder ones. This is my tree climbing harness, but it'll work. I have my safety rope located here over here in a bucket already. And this is a steel cable line. So, not worry about too much going on bad. We have the outriggers set, balanced, and uh, it's just nice, slow, steady motions when you're in that bucket. I owned a 72-foot bucket truck back in uh, 20 years ago when I was 26, so I understand the operations. Um, it will be swaying a little bit here and there, but no worries. So we'll get into some other things that go into this job and how much time. It, <laughs> time is important. It's all about money and time and how fast you can accomplish these missions. If you underbid by hours, you'll be kicking yourself in the head. So stay tuned. We'll get this rolling. So this lift costed $620 for a day's rental. And uh, that comes with the insurance. Not bad deal. And I definitely recommend doing a safety video, watching it thoroughly. And understand what you're getting into okay let's get this uh vine mission going we're gonna go up here right there and go across here we go i'm up <laughs> let's get this party started i got my tools i got my equipment and i gotta make the money so let's do it. Well, look who showed up to bring us our lunch. <laughs> She's awesome. Wave everybody. There you go. Yeah, so. All right, guys, it's about time for me to stop and take a lunch. But as you can see, I worked my way up this side and I have that top rook already exposed on this side but now i gotta move this lift i think i gotta move it over here down down another level so yeah got the windows all cleaned up nice and trimmed so i'm gonna have to move this lift i gotta get closer to get up here I might be able to jump up in there and uh, do my magic from that top rook section. Stay tuned. We're rolling. Woo. Wow. That's beautiful. Got a lot accomplished in my opinion. Hey, and I wasn't up on a 60 foot ladder holding all my weight and using my whole body strength to hang on for the last two hours. So we're going to here and check the boys out. They've been trimming this big hedgerow. Check it out. Hey, we're we'll talking the way over there. We got the butterfly bushes getting ready to bloom out for us. Looking nice. There's that hedgerow in the back. The uh, all Luke and Laurel hedgerow we installed last year is looking good. Looking healthy. And uh, yeah, these are the two new ones right here. This one, he's new. And the one down here is new. This little guy. 
but they got new growth on them. And there's my man Dalton and Tyler I'm getting it on. Killing him, killing him. So much work. It's too hot out. Make it look good though. Making it look good. All right guys, three o'clock. See what I got accomplished after I ate lunch and what I almost could reach. I found something though, so we're gonna try that out and I'll go back up and try to hit that spot. Let's look at it. All right, so I had to dismount the lift up there in that rook's nest. And that's where I trimmed all that stuff off that top. But I couldn't reach up there because it's not centered <laughs> with it. So I got a little extension arm. I'm going to go up there and try to pull that stuff off. It is disconnected, so at the very least, it'll die out and turn brown and turn to dust eventually. But I'm not satisfied with that. So I'm going to go up there and try to get with that long arm. The rest of it looks really good. All the windows trimmed out. And uh, I'm gonna have to reposition this machine over there for that far corner. Uh, always something. So you can see here where I worked it. To get to this corner here, I think we got to park the machine right here. And that's where we're at right now. So we have a tight fit for those outriggers, but I don't know. We'll maneuver the best we can. And uh, it doesn't go very far over here. It's right here over. So we're getting it. We're getting it. So I went in the garage here and found a little lengthy tool of friskers. And then I modified it for my use. <laughs> a little bit of duct tape. And uh, that will catch the vines a lot better than just a snippy in so hopefully i'll be able to reach that maybe not even get out of the bucket we'll see oh yeah so success always feels good and uh got it all cleaned up with my little macgyver rig Whew. boys are down there trimming All right, 420 break is over, and uh, the main lift is repositioned. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to reach those corners that I need to get, and those windows with the extension going on. Pretty sure. Maybe another hour and a half, two hours of trimming, and clean up, and we'll be all done. Boys are almost done with that huge hedgerow, and the hedgerow, in the past, I've always charged $600 to trim it. They've been on it most of the day, and uh, <laughs> it's not easy. So, I'll check back in. You can see how pretty that is. That peak, that makes me smile, man. That makes me happy. So, I'm right here, continuing on that way. I'll be back. Because I don't get this opportunity very often, 
You guys gotta check out this amazing view real quick. It's beautiful. So, got some issues about the reach concept because of all the obstacles down below me, the ponds and the walkways and stuff. You can only get the lift so close. So, I think we're gonna have to um, eventually get a step ladder. Nice, uh, probably 15 foot tall step ladder. Go up on that balcony there, turn that stuff off the windows. But I'm gonna get off this lift now, start hitting some ladder work here in the back. So we'll check back in. All right, all you warriors, we're gonna have to have a separate video talking about that time issue and making sure that none of you lose money on these big jobs that you got to bid out it's important and uh i don't want you guys losing any money so as always be good if you can always be kind and above all love each other peace elite landscape style <laughs>